We're here at Target, and I don't believe there have been any reports of people finding KZ at Target. So am I the first one? I don't know. Doesn't really matter, though. It's been out at Walmart for quite a few weeks, and all the good ones are in the half case at Walmart. Otis, Todd Marcus, Wingo with Flames, President Mater, who is absent, unfortunately. We were just here on Friday, but he had been taken, evidently, unfortunately. So I came to this Walmart for one reason and one reason alone. I saw that online they had the GRC playset in stock. I wanted to get that and review it. And I come here, the price tag says GRC, but they don't actually have it. They have all these other older playsets. Now, thankfully, my trip still would gonna be worth it. You had this revolting RPM pack, which I have only seen one of or two of before. Also another cruise hauler. And thank goodness, I was about to be so mad that they had them in stock, at least according to the website, but not on the floor. They do have them in the back. It's in a completely random spot there. So I snagged one, brought it up here. So I'm gonna be dropping some hefty coin here at this Walmart. We're at Walmart here and I finally have found my second and my third Fabulous Hudson Hornet blue to yellow color changer found that first one and ever since then it's been very very rare and this is actually the first sighting i have ever heard of at walmart for this case of color changers but other than color changers they barely have anything else they do have two cruise ramirez haulers which that hauler has not become as rare as it once was so yeah either way happy that i found these finally we're here at walmart and it's my first time finding one of these case d end caps it looks like they got three to four cases of the half case DN. As you can see, Kate Mather, Deputy McQueen with the slime, Ghost Tractor. And here's a bunch more of them that I pulled out. So pretty nice here. It literally looks untouched. I think maybe one Kate Mather and McQueen were taken. The actual car selection is pretty poor. Cruiser Mirrors' is hauler is becoming very common. I think that's like the sixth or seventh one I found. But. I'll take that end cap stuff for sure. So we're here at Meyer, and they restock the Glow Racers and the singles. You got Case E of 2024, Remnants, Todd Marcus, James Clean Air. You got a Space Creature McQueen back there, which is pretty nice. You have Fabulous McQueen here as well, which is an interesting find. And yes, the Chase Racelet and Fillmore Glow Racer case, but would definitely rather that have been Dan Carcia and Ryan inside Laney. Do I have to buy this thing? 15 pack for one new mini, Jocko Flacco Mac, $30. Ugh. I feel like I've probably even found this before and just ignored it, just subconsciously ignored it. I guess I'll get it though. Oh my God, this Meyer just went crazy. Yeah. Two GRC 10 packs, every mini for me at least in this set is new except for Sally, which is just crazy for a 10 pack because usually it's stupid packs like this where there's only one new mini, Mato or Radiator Springs Ramon. And they also have, and I have not heard of anyone else reporting of finding these at Meyer, but the new Mini Racer three packs case, which pretty much have the same stuff that's in the 10 pack but then there's this new pack and i do believe unfortunately i missed out on the wingo three pack which is yeah that's hard yeah it's hard to swallow for sure but i will take what i can get we're at target and i'm just amazed at how stocked how much this target has but most of it's super old i mean you do have some new singles in here but you have a jeremy the chisakis those are like 2022 still have royce revsley's in here from 2022 they do have new two packs here. I don't think I've seen Greta and Edwin in the US. I did find one in Canada, but not here. So that's kind of exciting, but no new mini three packs, not even new mini 15 packs, just gross. I have been looking for the new NASCAR singles for forever. Feels like I've been going into all these Walmarts, like hoping for that one thing and being disappointed every time. And I finally found them in the oddest spots. Like the main aisle is out that way and they put them like stuffed all the way in the back here. So this is why I even feel like when I go to some of these stores, like I'm missing out. Like I just don't find the weird little end cap 
that they're on. But yeah, no, there's a boatload of them here. I'm sure every single character is here. Don't think I'll be having any difficulty to get to. And they have some of the play sets down here as well, which do look like they've been gone through a little bit. But yeah, very happy about these finds. It is absolutely absurd to me how many of these older Mini Racer 3 packs they have. Like they will never get in the new case with the GRCs and Wingo. They will never. I mean, there are probably 30 packs here. This is just a mess. Kind of a random find here at Target, but they got in 2024 singles case A with Mato and Randy on 2024 card. They should also have Cryptid Buster Mater, I think, or maybe he's from case B, I'm just tweaking, but I would assume if Mato is still here, Cryptid Buster Mater would have still been here, but I don't think he is. But again, maybe I'm thinking of a different case. But either way, this is pretty wild to find such an old case freshly stocked here. I'll take it. Looking for new minis though, and glow racers. Here at another Target with the weirdest selection, they got in what looks to be case G of 2023 with Kelly Beanbright, but none of the Tokyo Mater stuff from that case is here. There's a bazillion Tim Treadlesses. Like, what on earth is going on? Look at, there's like four Tim Treadlesses, Krusty Rotors here. You do have the Pit Staposauruses. And then also, you have new Glow Racers, which is very exciting. Only one Dan Carcia, but there are two Ryans. So I don't know, I'll take what I can get. To my absolute dismay, this target here restocked with two 2024 singles case Cs, as evidenced by the two fair games. Only one Quadra Torquesar I'm seeing. But yeah, this store has been very bad over the last few months. And while I'm happy to see a restock, this case is about six months old. The other interesting thing here is this Disney store playset with the super small cars and some nice features in there. I don't know where this came from. It was just sitting here. I don't think it's supposed to be here. I think it's supposed to be in the Disney store section. So I'm gonna have to go investigate, see if they have any others or any of the other varieties that were listed on the Shop Disney website. Ah, uh, yeah, here they are. Only Flo's V8 Cafe. I know there is a Mater's and a Ramones, I think, on the website. Well, I'm glad I checked both of these stores, Target and Meyer, today. Usually I wouldn't go on a random Tuesday, but I guess I kind of got lucky and caught both of them on their restocking times, maybe, because, I mean, even though that last Target was missing a Quadratorcasar, it was pretty much two full case Cs, and here we have one full case app. So it's my first time finding it myself and obviously at Walmart I would have found just the half case anyway so this is pretty exciting we get to see everything that's in it. Meyer's not getting in the international singles like they did last year which I mean it saves me money but also it's kind of unfortunate but yeah you got Mallory, Doc, Cruz, Adam Rodriguez is kind of an interesting one. Obviously you have the two DJ with flames you have artist Ramon Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, the other DJs right there. You have Aiken Axler times two. So yeah, pretty good. Obviously not the best case of the year. Actually, it might be the worst, but I'm just happy that I found it. And I actually did find these GRC 10 packs here the other day, but I had already found them and recorded at previous Meyer, so I did not share that. The single selection at Walmart everywhere in my area has been so bad lately honestly this is one of the better selections because you have case d case b and yeah it's pretty much it honestly rusty cornfield is not a bad find they have put some of the nascar stuff out on the regular pegs here unlike most places still have them out on the end caps here but yeah once you got your set you're pretty much good on that Ah, this Walmart used to be so good last year. I was going through old hunt footage and finding Case L and K. It was great. Now, nothing. So remember when I found Case F at Meyer a little earlier in the episode and I said it was full? Well, it wasn't because Fusing Racing Tractor wasn't there. And yeah, that was kind of the best one. I didn't even know he was in the case, mainly because he's not in the half case. And here we are at another Meyer 
And man, they have Case F all over. I mean, as you can see here, Corey Turbowitz, they have a couple of DJ with Cones up here. And it does appear like they're missing the Vusing Racing tractor or tractors as well. I mean, they definitely got uh, more than one case. I mean, I see three Aiken Axlers, two Corey Turbowitz, two Artist Ramon. So that definitely is an indicator of some missing Vusing Racing tractors, which sucks. But on the bright side, they do have that new case in Mini Racers three packs that I actually found at the same location. I think it was like July 31st. And I have not found the case anywhere, whether it be Meyer or Target again. So this is my first time seeing it. And it's a lot fuller than it was last time we were here because well, they have the Wingo pack. They have this pack, which they didn't before. So yeah, very happy about that. It looks like they actually put some cars up on top here. Wow, another DJ there. No way. Let's go. Just hiding up here is the Fusing Racing Tractor we were just prophesizing about. Holy cow, there's a... Jesus, there's another one. Let's go. That makes up for all of the mishaps. Let's go. That's humongous. This Meyer rocks. This Meyer literally contributed the majority of my finds in this episode of the hunts i mean this meyer has just been killing it too bad it's like a half an hour away but let's go a couple racing tractors and obviously these new mini three packs which i will be indulging upon looks like they got in two cases yeah there's a window back there as well that's awesome let's go guys guys this is absolutely crazy do you know what i'm talking about yeah two packs at walmart that hasn't happened since like 2019 and while i'm pretty sure these are returns i don't know how they got returned especially a very valuable new pack here in chiefess and jeremy and then a slightly older one of conrad and jonas like i honestly have no idea and i'm very curious to see what they would ring up as so i'm actually going to go and scan this guy actually i might take both of them just to see maybe if they ring up at a super cheap price because i would actually buy this one and open it up for the Thailand variant. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. You just have two random two packs at Walmart store that doesn't carry them anymore. They only carry the accessory two packs. So I don't know, maybe two packs are coming back to Walmart. No, definitely not. <laughs> they actually rang up for a super good price of $7.46, which is like the old two pack price way back in the day. Nice. Here we are at yet another Meyer. They got the GRC Mini 10 pack. We have yet another Vuzine Racing Tractor. You know, it's kind of crazy because I actually ordered a couple of these from my good buddy Astro Smokey down in Australia. And so now I have like way too many. It's just like, oh, the timing on that really didn't work out. But yeah, a pretty much full case F here. I'm not seeing a ton of DJs, but they do have the two Akins, you have Chick, Bitstopasaurus, they got the new Glow Racers. So overall, a pretty good store here. I'm telling you, Meyer is such a great place if you have it in your area. And it has been a grind lately. I don't usually record when I don't find something or when it's bad, but I just have to because the fact that this store still is like five May Pillar Revs, we got K Pillar Revs, we got Gearson Marshalls on 2023 and 2024 cards i mean i did get the glow racers here a couple weeks ago they had case g when i found kelly bean bright but man it has just been horrible at target and walmart they don't even have the new 11 pack and that's when you know it's bad oh so when all else fails at walmart and target you go to kohl's to find some amazing old stock including a damaged king like how random is that I do remember this case from 2022. It was one of the last ones. You had Fred in it, of course, Griswold. So we were in the cars on the road era at this point. Also, we have, not you, but Bertha Butters Wagon here, which is crazy fine, but also kind of refreshing. You do have Sarah Wilson even back there. Like this is insane. Kohl's is the spot now. Screw Walmart and Tart. I'm just gonna come here. I mean, especially if I can get a damaged king. And I just found a brand new treasure hunt here as well from how it was like one of the only treasure hunts I've found all year. Here we are at Meyer, and they've gone in their first case of 2024 two packs, but 
Obviously, this is the first case of 2024 as well. A lot of firsts here. So it does not include on the road Ramon and Flo, not even close to the GRC pack or Ken and Janoki and Justin Road Ritter, but still nice to see some newness here. They also, this is the Meyer that had yet to get in the new case of Mini 3 pack. So it's nice to see that they got it in, even though it is just remnants, even though a couple of good remnants there with the Wingo. This Meyer's really picked up after a slow start. Here at a Meyer I've never actually been to in Indiana. And yeah, I mean, remnants of kind of everything we've been seeing in this episode of The Hunt. I'm a little bummed they have a Wingo 3 pack on an absolutely horrible card. And I actually need one on good card, but I sold the ones that I did have in my possession. And one of the ones I sold, the guy was gonna open it anyways. So it's a little annoying, but yeah, I mean, it's just good to see like relatively new stock here at Meyer because Target and Walmart obviously doesn't. Oh my gosh, this Walmart finally restocked and they get in the case from February. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I love seeing President Mater here. That's cool. I'll probably buy him, but this case is very old. This is case E and USA Walmarts actually have been getting in all the way up through case J now. Obviously case G, a case I've never found that came out in June. Of course, case H. Yeah, case J would have been nice too, but I guess I'll take what I can get. This Target's always been pretty solid about getting in new two packs, but obviously nowhere close to the actual state of two packs in Canada. I mean, they're on the last case of 2024. This is the first case, but it is nice to see Chiefess and Jeremy hanging around to offset the horrible singles and mini three packs that we have going on here. So we're back at the Walmart where I found those two packs and there are some more here now. It was confirmed by a couple other people at Walmart that two packs are back and in a big way at Walmart. This is a really, really huge development. And while there aren't any new ones here, they are getting in the case with on the road Ramon and Flo. So yeah, it's a great opportunity for us Americans to actually get some new two packs. And yeah, this is a nice taste, even though it's not in the main car's aisle. Yeah, here's the normal aisle here. <sighs> the amount of 2024 singles at Walmart in this episode of The Hunt has just been absolutely abysmal. Can't believe I haven't found Case G still, and it's mid-September. So a little bit of a downer episode, I would say. It's more of a grind, more gritty, more grimy. I think it sets up it's a little bit of a story arc setting up of The Hunt episode 30, I think it will be, which is crazy. Absolutely huge number. But this is, yeah, it's almost like a two-part series, Infinity War Endgame style. But thank you guys, as always, for watching this episode of The Hunt.